Wadi Degla, PSA Men's World Championship is, uh, 2016. Quite mild compared Semi -final to the final match. Mohamed Ashurbagi of, of Egypt to serve. Karim Abdel Gawad of Egypt to receive. Best of five games. So the Love central referee, Tama Al Nagari, take command of this all Egyptian battle. This semi final, it's the only semi final of this PSA Men's World Championship live from the Wadi Degla Club. That's any indication of what we are uh, going to witness from El Shabagi. It's going to be a very difficult night out there for Gawad. Questionable early on in some of his previous rounds. Gawad physically couldn't quite get the wheels in motion. But uh, we've seen El Shabagi absolutely flying out of the gate here. He'll be yeah, looking to make this pace fast and furious and uncomfortable for Gawad. He's going to go. He knows that uh, Gawad actually has a, can have a bit of a reputation for being a slow starter. So he'll be wanting to... So, so up this first game, get it under his belt. Try and keep a, a downer on the confidence of the baby-faced assassin who is able, when he's firing, to score points very quickly. Well, it's a real contrast in styles between these two because you can see the more fluid movement and hitting of Gawad, trying to contain El Shabagi, but at the moment he's absolutely tearing through. Pickup was good. These first few points, Three really low. setting his stall out, sending a message to Gawad. I just feel like we're on there with them. That's fantastic. See camera. the game from this angle. Gives you a real perspective of the pace. You see the way Shabagi is bounding round the court, hunting that ball. He's a true predator. PJ, if you, uh, I know it's quite a, probably a bit more of an analogy for the for the Four younger low. fans of squash, but if these guys were dinosaurs, then Mohamed El Shabagi would certainly be the T-Rex. T-Rex, absolutely. He is the prime predator on the PSA World Tour, Shabagi. Down, thank Making you. Making that unforced error. Hand out, 1-4. But the specific movement and the way Gawad is able to economically cruise around the court, he's got a real talent with that. A lot of the players have to do a huge amount of work in the gym, get themselves very, very strong. Shabagi's a kind of more of a raw mover. It's, wouldn't, you, you wouldn't say it's aesthetically uh, pleasing on the eye. It's very effective when he's... Yeah, it's not graceful, is it? It's not graceful, but um, Abdul Gawad is uh, very, very smooth. One area in particular that has rewarded Gawad over the last uh, few events has been this front left-hand corner. He's so skillful and deceptive in that region. I'm pretty and sure that El Shibagi will have his game plan fully in place tonight and not give any sort of time to Gawad in that particular part of the court. No, I think uh, he likes to go in. He likes to go in with a bit of pace in that front left-hand corner. Mohamed El Shabagi, and that's why still to attack that area, but make sure it goes a bit, you know, that low kill into the side wall. If you set it up and you get it slightly wrong, if you're going in slower, whether it's a long drop shot or a volley drop, that's where Abdul Gawad is so, so dangerous. He flies in and he's got probably about five or six variations in his artillery. Very hard to read him as well. And up. Well, he went in there and what was good, he justified that short ball on the volley because he had Gawad further back, squeezed the Loose length, perfect squash from Shabagi, and what a start, PJ. Immaculate. The number one seed, really, since that uh, first round in Philadelphia two weeks ago where he should have lost to uh, Cesar Salazar of Mexico. For me, he's taken his game to new heights. I've not seen him so focused and driven I for, won't, for a uh, long time. I won't repeat what was said, but uh, I got it, got it first hand that his uh, mentor, Jonah Barrington, was after that US Stop. Open, the way 
Oh, he managed to get that through up. that. He, he got quite a scolding. Although I, he won I, that event. And, I've uh, witnessed that firsthand myself. So. Two love down against <laughs> Nick Matthew. He got a huge scolding. And he kept saying, but I'm the US Open champion. And Jonah Barrington wasn't having any of it. And oh, so to be honest with you, it's uh, shown in this that he's, he's, yes, he's settled down. He's realized that Six, one. he's got to get back to playing top quality squash. Absolutely. Just going back here, Joey, we've, we've actually Left. used the replay to uh, for the referees to, to witness a potential double bounce. It wasn't the pickup was clear from El Shibagi, but they've used the video review, which is brilliant. I haven't seen that before. Well, that is massive because uh, it's a part of the game now that's so, so important. This is a ridiculous rally. The tempo. Out. That was beyond high octane from Shibagi. <laughs> Didn't look very smooth there, did he, Kareem Abdul-Gwad? He was running around. 7-1. A serious rate trying to stay in there, breathing heavily. 7-1. Well, he's been guilty of some slow starts, Kareem Abdul-Gwad, but I don't think it would have mattered what frame of mind he was in because this has been t complete and utter Eight, domination so far from Mohamed El Shibagi. Well, he's not here to entertain, PJ. He's here to do a job, and he's been <laughs> runner-up twice in this World Championship. He's been dominating the PSA World Tour, and he wants to win this. He also, he, he's also got the scenario, PJ, where Premier Shaw is waiting for him. He's in the final, Shaw. Down. Well, that's and out two eight. Exactly what we saw in Philadelphia. Whenever he went through a, a slight spell. El Shibagi kept pointing at his head, didn't he? Yeah, he's uh, the excitement of the way he plays. Sometimes it starts Decision, to go ahead. the focus starts to disappear, and he goes a bit headless. No lead. Hand out nine two. So it's a good decision there from Tama. Backhand volleys. Got to go through and try and play the ball there, Gawad. Front left corner again for Gawad. What Shabagi did so well early on was pushed further up into the court as soon as he knew the ball was on that racket of Gawad. So slightly poor width, and this is where Gawad to start to be dangerous. Four, nine. Very, very positive player. Such a high skill level. Gawad doesn't win this first game, PJ. At least he might get a bit of uh, a rhythm and, and some type of confidence that he's starting to find his game because up until this point, he's been uh, not given a look in. Too much pressure from Gawad on that backhand side. Just staring down Gawad there. Five nine. So deadly. I mean, he was completely outplayed for the first right. two thirds of this first game. It's just an example of the danger that he possesses, Gawad. Your ball's good. No, five nine. We're having a discussion on the scoreline. Yeah, it's definitely the right score. Another thing that I like uh, about Gawad, he doesn't seem to panic under pressure. No, I was just about to say, his facial expression doesn't change. You might, you might get the occasional fist pump, but I mean, look at the way this has turned around. Shibagi has come right off the ga gas. His accuracy levels have gone. It's like Six, he's nine. slightly over aroused at the beginning and he's having a bit of a mini come down. And this is the danger from Gawad. Shibagi's accuracy needs to be better. Just trying to bully the ball here. He's going to get picked off. He needed that point. He needed did. that point, PJ. 
I just feel that if Shebegi is going into that front and left corner, Joey's got to go hard and fast. Ball. He can't float it in there and give Gawad any sort of time because he's just too too dangerous. Yeah, that's what I said earlier. It becomes a bit of a setup and you give him an option. Yeah. You've got to you've got to get him moving in quickly and keep it nicely tight into the side ball, limit his options if he is going to get it back. It's good strength around the middle from Shibagi. Oh dear, oh dear. That, that is ridiculous. That is outrageous. I mean, we were, I don't know what you thought he was going to play there, but... Uh, and out, 7-10, game ball. Got the old twitchy leg, and it's acknowledged by Shibagi. He was just left on the tee. Still three game balls for the number one seed. Well, Saying just please. For those, just please, everybody, take their seats as the players try to continue with this uh, first game. Your Arabic's improving all the time. Uh, nine days here will uh, certainly do that, aid that. Up. Tidying up on that front area. Didn't panic with the pickup from Shibagi. Shibagi's really looking back at his brother. 8-10, game ball. He looks a bit shell-shocked by the response of the baby-faced assassin, who doesn't give away anything. No, I think he's played into his hands a little bit, though, Joe. He's, as you said, he's come off the pace a touch, started to go too short too early, and he's now given that front-court area away to Gawad. And as we will, uh, are well aware, He's too clinical there. Oh, he played it. It's good to see. He knew that he wasn't going to hurt his opponent. Oh, that's a good line. That is a very good line of length. Shabagi again just acknowledging to Gawad that he played the ball. He's a very classy character, Abdul Gawad. 10 game ball. <laughs> He's just going about his business. Terrific. He's closed down. He was way out of this first game. Needs a good service. Shibagi's the one that's looking a bit flat. Wonderful variations of hitting from both players here, using plenty of height on the front wall, combined with seriously hard hit low kills. Out. Oh, he squeezed it. Shabagi can't believe it. Feels the ball was in. Well, I'm not sure it would have really mattered because it's oh, out of court, no, you can see out. there. But the finish from Gawad well, after that was immaculate anyway. The ball died out. in the front right corner. That was very out. Ten all. Player must win by two points. Spending over Each against player Shibagi. has one video review available. Just Left on. box. So the assassin it has more than snuck up on El Shibagi. We're into a tie break in this first game. One stage he was 7 1 down, Dream Abdul Gawad. Well, I doubt El Shibagi can believe what's happened here. He's looking a little bit ragged here, El Shibagi. Just losing his line and length. He's uh, trying to hit it very, very hard, but he's not getting the ball through to the back of the court. He's not. Showing the accuracy that we saw at the beginning of this. And Gawad's woken up. He's not being phased by the pace from El Shibagi either. Oh, oh my oh, goodness gracious just, me. He, he just can't stop hitting corners. It was the forehand work deep. 
to set up that opportunity, and he's put it away beautifully. He just will not miss. Game ball. This is a run through. This is fantastic by Gawad. Game ball for the world number three. He's a number six so, seed in this so event. He just gathers, uh, sorry, gathers his thoughts 11, 10, there, Kareem Gawad. He's certainly got the momentum. No, I don't see anything there. Oh, well, Shibagi's no, sensing this momentum shift. Here. He wants the court cleaned and yeah, well, he's break trying up to the rhythm, it, isn't absolutely. he? Absolutely, he's trying to stop this. And it's Abdul Gawad that wants to serve. He's being relaxed, he's being fine. He wants to get on with this. 11, he's got game, 10, ball. game ball. There's some droplets there, but... He's trying a few of the tricks, Shibagi, but uh, Tama al Nagari not having any of it. So game ball for Gawad. So much more accurate. Abdul Gawad. Shibagi is all over the place. It's that heavy. Oh, just. It's making Shibagi do quite a lot of work here as oh, well. Tremendous amount of work. It's not looking settled at all, El Shibagi. Not up. What a response, though, from Shibagi. That was just competitive. Court service, please. That was just pure competitive instinct from Shibagi. It wasn't pretty. He's got a massive presence around the middle of the court, shutting out Abdul Gawad. And when you're not getting that accuracy level, you've got to kind of, uh, I mean, you've got to win ugly. You have to you? find a way of, yeah, getting the job Winning done, Joey. Absolutely. And, uh, and that's in that rally, I mean, again, he's bending over. I'm not sure if he's. Thank you. Started so, so quickly that he's kind of given himself a little bit of. Uh, Hand out, a bit of a blowout. Usually when you do go like that, you get a second win that starts to come, but he doesn't seem to be finding that quite yet. Well, you have to emphasize the importance of taking this opening game, the semi-finals of the World Championships. It will really settle you down if you do take an early lead. In the last four meetings, Gawad has managed to take just one game against El Shibagi. Down. He's made the error. It's a gift for Gawad. Better squash from Shibagi, though. He got himself in front of Gawad 12, and was 11, pushing game ball. the babyface assassin deeper into the back of the court. Not quite as effective in that area, but he made the error. So second game ball for Gawad. Go ahead. It's not good enough. Shibagi knows it. Yes, let 12 11 game ball. Shot. It's going to be a stroke. Video decision, go ahead. Well, Woods. this to me is a stroke. We're he, going to the video official. Well, normally it's an effective shot when it comes down the middle, but he's yeah, read, but he it. read it. He's he read, read it very well, and, and Shabagi's in the swing there of Gawad. Yeah, he's come right back on himself. He's nicely managed to come inside on this one. That's going to be a stroke all day long. So it is a stroke. The crowd go mental. Oh, the whistling. Gawad leads one game to love. 19-minute brutal game, and it's Kareem Abdul-Gawad that leads one game to love.